Okay, so on to chapter 11. So with that, so we're going to be adding things on to uh, alkenes and alkynes today. So with that, so one of the things that we can do, right, the simplest is going to be the uh, the strong acids. Okay, so with that, and so uh, the mechanism is always the same, right? So with that, so we're going to have this come in and attack, push that away, right? So with that, so you're going to end up with a, uh, in, you know, the hydrogen adding on one side. You're going to leave a carbocation here, right? Because what we're going to do is we're going to take this pi bond and use that to make the new bond to hydrogen, right? So with that, so this, there was already hydrogens here. So now this, this, this carbon where you didn't add um, your hydrogen, right, is going to have a carbocation, and the uh, and that allows the group that got displaced to come back and react to, to make this. Okay, so you can do this with a um, HCl, right? So with that, you can also make the uh, um, do this with with sulfuric acid, right? So with that, and so, um, you know, if you draw out the structure of the uh, um, sulfuric acid, right? So here's the H, and then here's the, you know, the, the other part, right? The X, um, so with that. And so again, you're going to get here, you're going to get displacement there, you're going to get carbocation on one side, which then this comes back and attacks, okay? And the reason why it's, it's written like this um, instead of this, okay, is we don't because um, the bond goes through the oxygen, okay, it doesn't go through the sulfur, okay, so with that, and so this, you might think it's going through sulfur, so so we usually, can, we're going to write it to indicate that, yeah, it's oxygen, so with that, so, um, but again, these mecha these work exactly the same way, right, so with that, so you're going to get um, the double bond attacking the, hyd the hydrogen, right, because it's a, it's a polar covalent bond, okay, the, uh, um, these electrons come up, form a new set of lone pairs, right? So like that, and so remember these had, uh, these were hy there were hydrogens here already, okay? This has three bonds, right? So like that, so it has a positive charge. The negative charge on the chlorine can come back and, and attack to, to make your, your alkyl chloride. So like that, and so here, right? So like that, so this is just the same molecule, it's just HBr, right? So like that, so you from here, attack this, right? So you end up with Right, so for that, so um, H plus is Br minus, right? That's going to come back and attack, and right here to make this. And so your first question is, does it matter which side? It does, uh, and we'll talk about that in a second. So about that. So here, there, it's symmetrical, and so so it doesn't make make much difference. Okay. Again, for this one, right? OH. Right, so that's so that's going to attack here, right? Push that away. So, right. right so remember, there was already hydrogen here. Already hydrogens there, right? So that plus this. All right. So that's the negative charge, right? So that's going to come in and attack to make. OH there. Okay. Exact same reaction, right? So with that, so same mechanism. Now, one of the things that happens is that it, it will readily add to um, to HBr, right? So the, or HBr will add to any sort of alkene, but it won't add directly onto um, onto benzenes. We'll talk more about the um, this a little bit later. Um, so with that, but this has um, the air. This is called an aromatic compound. Um, so that, and they're usually stable. They want to have this conjugated um, double single, double single, double single uh, in there. And so adding this, right, notice how it goes from double to single, okay, bond, right? So that would mean that we would get rid of one of these, one of those pi bonds, and so you would break up what's called the aromaticity. Uh, and, and the um, the the, um, the benzene is, is low do that. There are ways of putting a bromine on here, but you have to sort of, um, you have to um, go a slightly different route about that. So and we'll talk about that later. Okay. So that allows you to do specif um, to do um, some specificity here, right? So so you're going to add the HBr. It's not going to add here on this uh, on this ring or this ring, right? Because those are benzenes. It's still it's going to add right here because this is just a regular alkene. Um, stuff like that, and so again, you're going to add it right here, but you, without reacting on either one of those, in, any of these double bonds, because these are part of the benzene ring. Okay, 
okay? So the question becomes regioselectivity, okay? Does it add like, um, you're going to add H HCl, so does it add like this or does it add like that? Um, so which way is it going to add? Um, so, if it has, so the H on this side, CL there, or a H on this side, CL there. And it turns out that it's going to be um, this. So if it, had, it turns out it ends up being this, and this is what's called Markovnikov's rules. Okay. So because you, what you want to do is you want to stabilize, the, after the first step, right, you want to stabilize the carbocation. Right? So, that, so this is, right? so, that, so this is primary, right? This carbocation is, is secondary. So this is going to be a lot more stable. So when the, um, when the BR comes to, to react, it's going to see a lot more of this because this is so much more stable. And so this is going to be the major product. Okay. So with that, so you want the thing that adds, um, the thing that adds second, um, to uh, to add the carbo more stable carbocation. Okay. So with that, so for here, right? So with that, so we can add it. So here versus here, right? So with that, and so this carbon here, right? It's it, it has. Um, right? So with that, so let me put in the carbon, or let me put in the dots for the carbons. A bit easier to see. Okay. So this this carbon here has one to three carbons attached to it, so it's tertiary. This carbon here has one, two carbons attached to it, so here. So that means the Cl is going to go on this side. So like that. It's going to go on the higher number. So this side of the, the H, um, or of the, you know, HX, or whatever it is, the X is going to go on the higher, the higher number side. So it's going to go there. And the, the other hydrogen is going to go on the other side of that double bond. Okay. Now you do get with these with these reactions, you are going to have to worry about alkyl and hydride shifts. Okay, you're forming a carbocation before the chlorine can come in and attack. You can get shifting going on there, and, and you know for this reaction, right, it's fairly significant, right, because you you can shift it, right. So this is secondary. The carbocation would be here, secondary versus this one would be tertiary. So you end up it wants to get into this position before the chlorine attacks. Okay, so again, right, so with that, the, the bond's going to come here, right? So this side is, is primary, this side, right, this side is secondary. So it's going to want to put the carbocation here, but if, it, if we can shift, if we shift that hydri the hydride over, we can then make this into tertiary, which is much more, tertiary carbocation, which is a lot more stable, and so the chlorine can come and attack here to make that product there. So even, so... When you're not adding directly onto onto either one of the two carbons, where the uh, um, you know of the C double one of the of the C double one C, right? There's been some sort of rearrangement. Okay. Now the thing is about this is is that you can't you know because because you're going through the carbocation intermediate, you can get free rotation. Now you go from a double bond right to a single bond, so you can get free rotation. So you, so you can get both cis and trans addition of your H HBr. Okay. And stuff like that, and so as long as there's no, there's nothing blocking uh, either one of the faces, you can get it um, cis or trans. So with that, and this this sort of going you know here, at the top bottom, you know again if the in this case deuterium as to the top again top bottom. So now you can also do um, you can also add. Um, you know, waters or alcohols to it, so like that, and so you could, you know, this is exact same mechanism is an H, you know, H and OH, right? H or OR for for an alcohol and stuff like that, but it's the exact same mechanism. Okay, it's going to be right. So with that, so this attacking here, right, pushing off the water, the water comes back and attacks, right. So with that, so um, now in this case because it's under acidic conditions, it's going to be uh, you have to remove that. H to reset your catalyst, okay? But again, the uh, the, the H is going to go on the lower number side, and then this side of it is going to go on um, the X, whatever it is, or whatever that group is, it's going to go on the higher number side, right? Because so, that's secondary right? versus primary. Okay, and so for here, right? So with that, so this is going to attack that hydrogen, right? Push that away. Oh, I guess I take that back. We have an H plus, okay. 
right? So, but that's, so let me redo this. I forgot this is under acidic conditions. Okay, so this is going to, that's going to attack here, right? Because we don't run with too many negative charges in here. Okay, to make to make this. Okay. Now for here, this is going to this is now this is gonna grab one. I know it's I know it's kind of a trivial thing, but it avoids us having to to have a negative charge in here. Okay, so again we're gonna have put in the, the carbons here. So like that. And so What's going to happen is right. So this is the tertiary side. This is secondary, right? So we're going to put, want to have that carbocation there. Okay. So your new hydrogen goes there. All right. You're left with. All right. So so this is going to attack here. All right. Now this leaves, um, probably gets ripped off by water, uh, another water molecule, or, or basically what you need to do is reset your catalyst. Okay, oh, here. Right, so if this was H, right, so for that you, we just made an OH there, but since it's a carbon group, that's there. But the mechanism is exactly, exactly the same. We put the H side on one, we put the other half of the molecule, or the other part of the molecule on, on the other side of the, of the uh, alkene. Now for, um, right, so for that, and so you can also add um, HX, right? It's the exact same mechanism. Again, you're going to follow Markovnikov's rule, right? So for that, so this is primary, right? This is secondary, right? So the first H is going to go on, the H is going to go here, so put the carbocation there, okay? So for that, and so the bromine come, come back and attack. Okay, so that's all this is. Now you have a, um, some of that. So uh, generally, you're going to get the, the trans product, okay? So with that, because of the um, right, so, so for that, so so for here, right? So the hydrogen's small, so that doesn't make a difference. But but here it allows these. If you had the cis addition, right, you'd have these two methyl groups right next to each other, and they'd be clashing, okay? So with this, so but it ends up minimizing the steric um, clashes. So, that, so so generally, it's going to be an anti-addition. So you're going to make this trans product here. Okay. Now if you have excess, okay, so that so that was only if you had one equivalent. So if you had two, it, it basically does uh, the addition twice, okay, so with that, but the uh, the you know in this case bromine is going to go on the same side. Okay, because well you're following Zeitsep's rules, but you also have this ability, right, after you add this, you have the carbocation here Right, so with that, so you do have this resonance structure where the the electrons from bromine are going to get attracted to that positive charge to make this, and so you have this resonance structure. If, if you put the charge over here, not only is it primary, um, so with that, but it's also you don't have access to the to these. Um, well, you, you might, but but this is, I, but the fact that it's primary is it's not going to be good. Um, so you can get stability here, um, stuff like that, and so that adds, and so you make what's called a geminal um, bromide, geminal halide. So like Gemini, the twins. Um, stuff like that. So, so they end up adding on the same side. Okay. So with that, so you, so, same thing happens, right, with water, right? So with that, so OH, HOH, right? So with that, so that's going to add, right? So with that, so you're going to put the um, OH on this side and the H on this side. Okay. But after the first one, okay, something happens. Okay. So with that, it's the, um, it's what what's called a tautomerization. Okay, so remember the enol, um, so with that, so you end up getting this structure here after the first addition, right? So, so we added the OH on one side and the H on the other, right? So there's the H that we added here. When this happens, this is unstable, okay? So with that, so what ends up happening is you get this, um, right, so with that, so this collapses down, that grabs this, these electrons come on here, and so this is nice cyclic, and so this, this hydrogen here, right? So with that, so there was already two hydrogens here that remain. But now 
this hydrogen ends up down here, okay, and then these two electrons became this new set of lone pairs. Um, this became this, this um, lone pair became this double bond, right, so with that, so this double bond became um, this new bond here, the CH bond, these electrons here became a new set of lone pairs, replace this one here. So, so it's a cyclization. So it's, you can't do a second one because after the first one you get the tautomerization into the ketone. Okay, so again, you, you want to have, so for the acid catalyst, right, so with that, so you're going to be adding HOH across here, right, so with that, so this is secondary, right, so this is primary, okay. So with that, so I should mention here, right? So with that, so so the oxygen doesn't move; it's just the hydrogen. So wherever that oxygen adds, that's where the that's where the the carbonyl, the C double bond O, is going to stay. Okay. So we're going to add HOH, right? So so you end up going through this intermediate OH, right? That's going to tautomerize, right? To put the C double bond O in. So you end up with this that product there. Okay. Now there's another way that you can do it, and and it works very similarly to the uh, um, well, I guess it gives the same products as the um, as the acid and water. Okay, but but uh, it's much higher conditions. You have higher yields. You don't have to worry about carbon cations, which can move around, um, stuff like that. So, so, but it usually ends up being um, a mercury salt. So the other one that that's often you often see is uh, mercury acetate, so like that, but they work the same way. It's just swapping out the different um, um, anions, so like that. So, but again, you're going to be putting it on the higher numbered side. Okay, so you have two, um, right? So like that, so secondary versus primary. Okay, so like that, so the O, so the oxygen is going to go on this side, which then tautomerizes after this to, to give that. Okay, so again, right? So like that, so this is the secondary, right? That's primary. Okay, so the OH is going here. So OH, H, right? H, right? So with that, so and that's gonna, that's gonna switch, right? So you're gonna switch the position of the the double and single bonds right there. Um, so you're gonna end up with, again, your your ketone like that. Okay, but it gives essentially the same the same products as the uh, acid hydrolysis. So like that. So. Okay. Now, adding HX to a conjugate alkene. So, okay. So, so the problem here is that the carbocation that's formed can move around. Okay. And so here, it's not just you're adding HCl over here, one there, and then one there. It, it can move around. Okay. But you do these things the exact same way each time. Okay. And some of that. So the mechanism here, you're going to add the H. And you're going to leave the carbocation so that it is right next to the double bond, right? Because you can get a nice resonance structure. So that, and depending on which resonance structure it sees, the chlorine is going to come in and add. Okay. So you end up doing this the same way each time. Okay. So that you don't want to add it so that the carbocation is on this side because then it doesn't have access to the resonance structure of the of the um, alkene here. So like that. So it doesn't do any good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw this out. So this is how you do these. Okay, so like that. So let's say I'm gonna make this a oop, one too many. Alright. So already here, and I'm gonna say, okay, we have we're gonna add HCl, okay, and we're gonna have an excess. So okay. And so you wanna pick one of these double bonds. Okay, so let's say we're going to do, you know, we're going to do this one, right? So for that, so we're going to say, okay, we're going to, we're going to work with the one on the left first. There, push that there. Right. So you're going to get this intermediate, right? So with that, we want to put the H on this side so that the carbocation is here, so it's right next to this double bond. Okay, so with that, so um, plus Cl minus. Okay, now we can get a, um, we can get a resonant structure. Where we where we put it here, right? So like that. So now you say, hey, we, we don't want a, a uh, primary carbocation. That's okay. What we're looking for is all possible products. Okay. So if the chlorine, right? So if the chlorine sees this resonance structure, right, it's going to attack here. 
to make this product. If, however, it sees this resonance structure, it's going to attack here to make this product. Okay. Now we've dealt with that one. Okay. Now let's deal with now let's deal with this double bond. Okay. Now instead we're going to attack on this side. So, right. So that remains. And again, we're going to want to put the the carbocation here. Right? So it's right next to the other double bond, right? You have that H there. Okay. So by that, so plus C O minus. Okay. But again, you can have a resonant structure where that moves over there. Okay, so you end up with right, so the carbocation there, and now the double bond's over there. Okay. Now again, if you see if the chlorine's gonna see that, um, so that carbocation, right, it's going to make this product. If it sees this carbocation, it's going to make that product. Okay, so you're going to make the four. So these are the four possible products. Okay, so with that, so you, you take one of the alkenes, react it on your carbocation, now you're going to move that around through a resonance structure. Now, now you're going to then do, go back, right, figure out what those two structures are. Now you're going to go back and do the other alkene. That's going to react. You're going to put the, the um, carbocation next to the other double bond, have it to go through the resonance so you have the two, and, and the chlorine is going to attack each one of those, and so you're going to end up with these, um, these products here. You do them the exact same way each time. Okay, good luck.